There are millions of apps in Google Play Store and App Store. And we need to understand App Store optimization, how it works and how it can be leveraged. ASO shares many similarities with SEO, but there are few differences that we need to understand to accelerate our app performance. Before we jump into the steps we need to follow in order to rank, let's understand ranking factors. The key ranking factors for iOS apps are app name, app subtitle, app URL, keywords, in-app purchases, app updates, reviews and ratings, and the number of installs. Now the ranking factors for Google Play stores are app title, app short description, app long description, the number of installs, reviews and ratings, in-app purchases, and app updates. Now, as we know the ranking factors, let's know the steps. So, the step number one you need to follow is optimize title and subtitle of your app. Not only app title is the first thing your users or potential users will see, but it also plays a huge role in ASO and in ranking factors. In App Store, subtitle gives a context about your app and also insights. Point to note here is use your keywords wisely. Use the primary keyword, that keyword in which you want to rank your app for sure in your title and subtitle. App Store allows you 100 characters for your keyword in their field but Google Play Store doesn't come with such feature. Rather, Google Play Store indexes your content and rank accordingly. Talking about the character limit, title character limit for both these platforms are same and that is 30 characters. Now talking about the subtitle or the short description character is 80 for Play Store and 30 for App Store. Step number two. Optimize the description of the app. On the Google Play Store, description is the main piece of content which indexed and analyzed by algorithm for the ranking purpose. You need to strategically add keywords you want to rank for. The description character limit for both these platforms are same and that is 4000 characters. I would suggest use all the character you can. Talk about the features, talk about the why of your brand, talk about the purpose of your brand, but make sure to use your keywords as well. One thing I wanted to add here is opportunity cost that we don't know about is don't use same keyword more than two times because that is not friendly for App Store or even Play Store. And for doing keyword research, the tool I use is App Radar. I know there are many tools which can be feasible for you, but I like this one, so I would highly suggest it. Step number three, choose right screenshots and preview video. After all, there is nothing more frustrating than a good ranking, but a bad click through rate. Now here, what we do for our clients is we do proper competitor research. We see what kind of designs our competitors are using in terms of color, in terms of modernization. And according to that, we try to differentiate our client from the list which we will be seeing when we type our keyword. And ultimately, this will increase the click through rate and grab the attention of your potential users. For App Store, you can use up to 10 screenshots and Play Store, you can use up to eight screenshots. I would suggest use it all. Just use it all for this apps. If you are an e-com brand, you can talk about the offers which you are going to give inside the app. If you are a normal aggregator app, you can talk about or you can make people visualize about the app UI or UX that really help in order to get more click-through rate. Step number four, encourage reviews and ratings. If you have poor ratings, you won't appear on the top. It's that simple. 
Consider encouraging reviews from the existing audience that you have by push notification, by gamification, or you can even use social media marketing. Fifth and final step that you have to do is analyze and optimize. Now you implemented it all. You did keyword research, you implemented it in the content, you optimize the visuals that is a screenshots and preview video. Now it's time to see how it's actually working. You can use Google Play Console for Play Store and App Store backend for tracking how it's working. I personally use both third-party app as well as the app of those platforms. Keep on fine-tuning your strategy to get the best out of your ASO. Now it's time for the pro tip. ASO is somehow like SEO, but there is one major difference. SEO is slow, but when it comes to ASO, whenever you implement the keyword and the content you want to rank for or you just upgrade your app landing page, the result will be instant. We have seen our client who was ranking on top 40 is ranking on top 5th now. So this is the difference you will see. How? Because ASO works quickly. The algorithm instantly catches the keywords and it ranks accordingly. All in all, ASO is fast. Now, second pro tip from my end is don't use any keyword more than twice because these platform doesn't support keyword stuffing. Use the primary keyword in the title and all the secondary in your description. So let me know which app you think is doing a great job in terms of ASO. Until then, keep marketing.